Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. Okay, so I've got the wrong cards in here. <laughs> They've been a mix up, Virgos. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be a general message for my Virgos that are dealing with another earth sign. Okay, so this is a general message. It's not a personal reading. Take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. So this earth sign could be anybody to you, okay? Um, family member, friend, co-worker, take it out resonates. But let's see what's happening between the two. All right, anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who reach out for those, and thank you to those who donate to the channel and to those who have subscribed. It's very much appreciated. All right, so let's see what's going on with my Virgos and another Earth sign, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Okay, so it's getting stuck on inner knowing. So somebody's, I don't know, somebody's stuck about something they're thinking about here. And someone also could be ill here, right, with the re-energize. Okay, so let's see. A card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you. What is the energy? Show me. Blessings is turning over. Okay. And for going forward, getting stuck again. Someone's stuck about moving forward towards their blessings. I almost wanted to say, has somebody seen a miracle? <laughs> like, that's how it kind of feels. Like, somebody's seen something, they're like, wow, or I don't know. All right, going forward. Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy? That's, that's all right. We'll take it. So we have dive deep, and then we have positivity. So someone may be in their thoughts here, or uh, it kind of feels like someone's trying to figure something out. Okay, I don't know, it kind of feels like, all right, I, the kind of, the, the vision they're kind of giving me is like, um, say we have one story, but someone has a version and somebody else has a version. It's like somebody trying to figure out, well, which is the right version. Does that make sense? All right, so what is this about? I'm hearing hidden blessings. What is this blessings card? For my Virgos dealing with another Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Why is the blessings here? A Virgos dealing with another Earth sign, a Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn. Show me what is the energy. Hmm. Okay, what's behind that? Ooh, the Queen of Cups with the Five of Swords. What is the blessings? My Virgo's dealing with another Earth sign. Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Thank you. The, the Eight of Swords, it came out anyway, okay? So the Eight of Swords talk about a mental prison or a mental entrapment here. Um, somebody feeling stuck or bound to a situation. But it's all in the mind. It's all an illusion here. What is the Eight of Swords? Some of you may be questioning your gifts. The Eight of Swords for Virgo. Dealing with another Earth sign. Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Yeah, the Six of Swords. I'm also hearing, I don't know if there's someone here that's going to be released from jail or prison here. Yeah, going back home to family here. Everybody's happy. This has been a long time coming. What is the Eight of Swords? Six of Swords is moving to calmer waters, being divinely guided. Coming out sideways. They came out anyway, the two cars that I saw earlier. So there was a blockage here for someone, okay? So this Queen of Cups may be a third party here. Um, but the Five of Swords, it talks about someone who's lies, you know, someone who um, will manipulate a situation by saying anything, doing anything to get the outcome that they want. 
But the five of swords is usually an energy of, you know, someone may feel like they're getting away with something at the time, but, you know, further down the line, it kind of, you know, looking back, look at this woman, her head looks kind of down, right? It was an unwise choice because someone here has now found out the truth because the other person is holding one sword, which will give me that ace of swords energy, truth and clarity. So... I don't know if this is a third party situation for some of you, but it kind of feels like there may be either a water sign involved here or there is someone here in their emotions, right? Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups. So what is the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Cups? Someone may have been dealing with someone who is maybe considerably younger than them because I'm hearing this part from a song where it says they say we're young and we don't care. Oh, and I'm hearing won't find out until we grow. Okay, I don't know. Uh, you have the emperor coming out here, which is Aries and Taurus energy. So we could be dealing with a Taurus. But this is about somebody taking control here. What is the emperor? Why is the emperor here? You know, the emperor is very much a leader. A boss. Could also be uh, a father figure. The Ace of Cups. Ooh. Ooh, and the Chariot. So is somebody going towards new love? And that is what's stressing somebody out here? What is the Ace of Cups? Now, the Ace of Cups can also just talk about, you know, what somebody finding self-love, learning to put boundaries up, teaching people how you want to be treated, not allowing people to walk over you anymore, not allowing people to emotionally control you physically control you financially control you mentally control you what is the ace of cups thank you Strip. the ten of swords yes there's a situation here that is over the betrayal is over someone has delayed or kept somebody stuck for too long here what is a six of swords and a five of swords? Yeah, somebody was at a crossroads for a while. Because even if I took that six of swords and a five of swords, that would make the eleven of swords that would still bring me back to the two of swords. Somebody wasn't able to see something here. Or it was just a difficult decision to make. Or somebody was making it difficult for them. Or you Virgos, right? What is a six of swords and a five of swords? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Okay. Well, well, well. So we have the Page of Swords, which is somebody may have been spying on somebody or keeping their eye on someone here um, with the Page of Swords, right? Or this is, you know, after somebody kind of gaining some kind of information, it's time to move on here. The Knight of Cups. Feel like someone's moving on to new love. Yeah, it's definitely time for someone to take a leap of faith in a different direction and to free themselves from some kind of toxic um, connection or something they were bound to. I'm hearing karmic. So, what is the positivity? We have the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant does talk about commitment. It can talk about marriage here. Um, it also gives me, I don't know, I'm hearing, um, I've got the keys, the keys, the keys. I'm hearing, I don't know if that's from Stranger Things, but it's like I'm hearing, um, I don't know, I can't hear the words properly, but Stranger Things, when I think of Stranger Things, you know, I don't know, somebody must have been, may have been dealing with someone who was dark or, what is the hurry from? <laughs> 
What is positivity? It almost gives me the energy of moving out of dark into lightness. Why is the Hierophant here for my Virgos that are dealing with another Earth sign? Thank you, Spirit. Nine of Wands. Yeah, somebody's been through the works. The Wounded Warrior. Also makes me feel like someone's been injured, you know, and that could be in any way. Emotionally, physically, mentally. But you're out of there. You didn't give up. And look how he's only holding on to one wand, leaving the past behind. I'm not saying you will forget it, but someone here may be kind of looking on the bright side of life, right? I'm stronger than I look. You almost had me. Or well, again, you know, this may be somebody looking back to a marriage and thinking, damn, that was difficult. So someone could have been in a marriage for up to eight years, nine years, for a long time. But let's see. Show me more. What is the Hierophant? Thank you, Spirit. The Six of Cups in the reverse. Yes, yeah, somebody no longer looking to the past or is no longer allowing the past to affect them. Page of Wands. So what's, look at the, looking, looking forward to the good, right? What else is out there? I told you he's only holding on to one wand. Let me focus on the positivity. What's going to make me happy? What's going to make me happy? The sun card. Wow. After such a struggle, after such a blockage for someone here. Now for someone, this may not have nothing to do with anybody else, right? But let's see. What was the nine of ones? The Nine of Wands, <laughs> yes. The Devil, but right behind it, the Fool. Someone's taking a leap of faith. They're leaving this toxic energy behind. They're leaving the darkness behind. This Whatever this was, was bringing somebody down, draining them. The Fool. I don't know what's going to happen when I step off that cliff. I ain't even worried. This is moving by faith and not by sight. Positive. I know there must be better out there. I'm going to go look for it. Or I'm going to go get it. Ah, somebody a preacher. Somebody a preacher or something like that. I feel like I was preaching for a second. All right, what is this dive deep real quick? The Knight of Wands. Two more cards. I heard you're going to need more than that. Okay. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so I could... Um, all right, so you know what? It feels like with this dive deep, right? It was... Um, how do I want to say this? Clarify. Let's do that. What is this Knight of Wands? Now, the Knight of Wands is about taking fast action, right? The Wheel of Fortune can talk about um, everything had to be in divine timing. The Four of Pentacles can talk about somebody holding on for dear life. But let's see. What is this dive deep? The Five of Pentacles, which is the energy of feeling left out in the cold. So someone, I don't know, it kind of feels like, you know, there also may be some kind of information here. Maybe somebody found out that someone stepped out of a relationship or found out something about a fire sign. Again, this young energy, right? Very non-committal, very promiscuous. Um, five of Pentacles. What is the Wheel of Fortune? The Five of Wands. So that's two fives so far. So there's, you know, there's an energy of conflict, jealousy, drama here um, with the five of wands. You know, that's a lot of people involved in a situation. Or a lot of people, it kind of feels like a lot of people fighting against the universe, fighting against something that, hey, they have no control over here. What is the Four of Pentacles? Wow, that shot out. 
the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I don't know if there was somebody trying to hold on to someone for dear life here or somebody was trying to hold somebody back from, you know, finding their confidence or taking action. But, you know, again, this energy of I just somebody dealing with someone, that black cat kind of makes me feel, um, let me not say. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the hangman and two of pentacles with a nine of pentacles. Yeah, somebody, you know, they feel stuck about a decision here. Or about someone. So. <clears throat> two cards for my Virgos that are dealing with another earth sign. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have? That was occupation trying to come out. And there's our two cards. The first one is thief. So again, you know, pay attention to, you know, things around your work here, you know, Virgos, um, with that occupation and thief, you know, this may be someone you work with, but you could just be feeling like, you know, someone here may be feeling like they wasted their time, their effort and their energy in a situation, right? Um, ooh, double, false person, ouch. So someone definitely was dealing with someone. Can you give me one? I don't know if somebody was working with someone who was a false person. Someone here may have been just, you know, trying to get some quick money here. Maybe someone fell for it, right, with the despair. And then look at that, despair and high honor. So it feels like somebody, you know, feels like they may have missed, a sit and missed an opportunity with someone. Or they just didn't see something. What is a thief and false person? Why is that here? Message of concern, okay. Whoa, 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 mature man in the reverse. What is all of this? Well, I did say, you know, this could be a situation where there's a lot of people um, involved. So we just saw the mature man in the reverse, right? So we have the mature man in the reverse. We have a main male. We have child. We have imprisonment. We have a main female. We have coffin. And we have a mature woman one two three four five people i don't know if somebody's going to jail i don't know if there's something here to do with a child here but i'm telling you you know main female mature woman i feel and then you have main male and then mature man in the reverse I'll tell you how it resonates um yeah that wheel of fortune bang in the middle on that imprisonment I know, I wouldn't want to be involved. <laughs> Give me two cards for my Virgos that are dealing with another earth sign. First card out, we have finances and career. It says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So, you know, Virgos, I hope you wasn't kind of involved with somebody romantically or and this person was stealing from you or lying to you just to get finances. I hope definitely hope it wasn't somebody you was married to. One more for this false person. And I always say, again, you know, the false person, it kind of reminds me of somebody being trapped or stuck in a karmic situation for a while. But hey, if you are in this full energy where you are breaking free from something that you have been stuck in, that's been causing you grief, that's been causing you sickness, that's been causing you worry, anxiety and stress. I mean, the first thing I would say to you is, why did you stay? Now, I did see that child card. Unrequited love at the bottom of the deck. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. One for this false person. Give me a card for my Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. Dealing with another Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Thank you. It says forgiving and learning. It says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Yes. Yeah, so for also someone here, they need to release the past, right? They need to release the hurt. And they need to know that, you know, going forward, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to kind of find yourself in the same situation. You know, trust in the universe and thank them for revealing something here so that you can move forward, you know. And for someone, maybe this isn't even revealed yet, but maybe the signs are around you with the dive deep, okay. So let's end this. Oh, no, no, no. Give me some cards from this deck.
Give me some energy. Thank you, Spirit. Show me. It's too much energy. <laughs> Thank you. One at a time. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. The Grim Reaper. Hmm. It says the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. You have the chaser. It says chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So someone may be leaving a situation, but it's like there's someone here that just won't let go. You know, it kind of, anyway. I was going to say it kind of scares me to kind of think of what they would do to hold on to a person. Thank you, Spirit. You have... Oh, two. It says acts. It says breakup, separation, stop the pattern. It says silent treatment, abandonment. You have keys on a ring. Did I say it earlier? When I said I felt like I was here and I got the keys, the keys, the keys. So it could be keys to information, but let's see. It says keys on a ring. It says many options. It says decision, unconditional, string along, one night stand. Hmm. So someone also may have been dealing, maybe someone had a one night stand with somebody and, you know, maybe that's all it was meant to be. And I don't know, maybe somebody is holding on real tight, right? Thinking that it's more. You do have the Queen of Cups out here and the Queen of Wands. You have abundance. It says keep a positive positivity. Let's go. It says abundance. It says keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. It says gratitude and bliss. So even for someone here, you know, you leaving the past behind, letting it go, going on that brand new journey. Yes, you realize that you've been through a lot. Yes, you realize you had some toxic people around you. But because you didn't give up and because, you know, spirit says you're still moving forward. You're still in this kind of high vibrant energy. Abundance is yours. Okay, anything else on this deck? Oop, that one wanted to come, seduction. Somebody used, somebody tried to use their body or um, sex appeal to kind of control someone. So you have mirror, it says mirroring each other. It says self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. This kind of gives me twin flame energy. And then you have healing heart. It says healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. What did I say? So this could be an addiction. Maybe it's for some people it's not a relationship. But maybe somebody saw something, you know, you know, with this mirror effect and realized that, you know, I have to change my life. Maybe somebody was in a relationship with someone who had addictions. And that was affecting you or them, you know, whatever. So let's end it with Archangel Michael. Let's see what he has to say. And give me one more, Archangel Michael. You have it's almost over. It says your current challenges will soon be resolved and you will be able to look to the future with a smile and then you have embrace your life purpose it says i am guiding you toward your divine life purpose whatever makes your heart joyful is what is meant is what you're meant to be doing yes trust your angels okay Virgos, that is what I have for you if you are dealing with another earth sign. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys.